my top 10 favorite ghost writers. It's been a while since I've done top 10, but uh, I've been talking uh, to one of my friends about ghost writer a lot lately, so I figured I'd make this list. Um, my first one is the Ghost Racers. I like the concept of a team of racers who sold their soul to Mephisto. There wasn't much to them. They had a couple of books. I haven't read most of them, but a lot of them were fairly, you know, they're pretty interesting. I mean, they took place in Battle World, but we haven't seen them since then because most it was like a multiversal team. It, what if instead of Johnny Blaze, they had this? If I remember right, um, it was all right. And there was a version of the original Ghost Rider on this, which is like a half horse person. It's really odd, um, but it's it, not many people think of them, so that's why they're number ten. Next, we have Goose Rider, which is uh. You know, Ghost Rider, if he was a goose, not much to say there. He's, you know, kind of just there for spider handbooks, but uh, he is a version. He is one that comes to my mind, so he gets placed on this list, because there are not very many versions out there that aren't just, what if this character was Ghost Rider? There is one of those on this list, but that's because, you know, we'll get to that later. Next is Ghost Rider 2099. This one is a spin, uh, as of most as most of these are, on Ghost Rider's Origins, where it's a techno Ghost Rider that they made from the cyber spirit of Ghost Rider, and they kind of made like a, a rogue AI sort of thing for a cult, worshipping Mephisto. Uh, so yeah, no, that, it was an interesting take on the character. I like it, and it's got a badass flame chainsaw, so... Automatic brownie points for a flame chainsaw. Next, we have Robbie Ray as Ghost Rider. This one was the spirit of a serial killer in the car that had a deal with Mephisto, but it got merged with another person. Um, he's also uh, Latino, so there's a couple beats that fit into that, uh, which are kind of interesting to see. Um, he's a really cool character. Uh, I've seen him age as a shield. Uh, not my favorite Ghost Rider, but he's right down the middle. Uh, because he's pretty basic, other than the origin being slightly different. He just feels like a Ghost Rider. Uh, so, right in the middle. Next, we have the classical Ghost Rider, which is there because, um, you know, he started it all. Uh, you know, you have to respect what started it, and uh, that's why he's on here. Uh, he's, there wasn't very much I care too much. I have the original Ghost Rider issue that he came from. But uh, that's just more out of respect for the character's legacy. Next we have Speed Demon. This is a combination of The Flash, Etrigan, Ghost Rider, and one other character. I can't remember who it was. It was like four characters combined into one. He's got this like, he's got like the horns of Etrigan. He's got Ghost Rider's flames. He's got like the costume of, uh, you know, the Flash and the color scheme. It's a really interesting looking character. There wasn't much done with him, but, uh, you know, awesome design. And uh, love the combination of characters. It's interesting to look at. Next we have uh, Danny Ketch Ghost Rider, who is my favorite of the initial two. Um, because he has a more badass personality with a little more wit than uh, Johnny ever did. Uh, I could be switching them, just to be blatantly honest. Um... But, yeah, I, I just, especially since he got the blue flames, and I love the blue flames even more because of pure spirit. Awesome. Love that beat. Next, we have Vengeance, who is the initial spirit of Vengeance. You know, he's the actual spirit. And uh, I just love his overly 90s spikes and, like, the, the flame skeleton mohawk thing going on. Big, like, tusks. It's... it's the, just 90s as hell design almost as 90s as speed demon but you know it's like it's great i love it uh, i like the design from the ghost rider movie even more that we got as action figures and in the video game but uh the original one pretty damn good next we have cosmic ghost rider this is frank castle who's already an interesting character on his on his own but he also gets imbued with the powers of cosmic and the powers of the ghost rider and he has to take care of, like, a baby Thanos. It's got, like, very John Wick in space vibes. 
Um, I, I like it's Mandalorian or John Wick or like just like this protector with this badass guardian of space on his like Bill Chopper. It's oh, it's just awesome. I love the books and I grab any single one I can that's at a decent price. Next, we have the Ghost Panther, and uh, that's my favorite because it's a combination of my two favorite characters from Marvel in the comics. In the movies, it's something different, uh, but that is Black Panther and Ghost Rider. I just love like the like the panther with the flaming claws, the lava on its back, and just you know it's, it's a panther skull on this Ghost Rider, and the the Wakandan chain is made of flames now. And he's still got the fl- like the flaming whip of the traditional Ghost Rider. Oh, and it's a combination, like the origins, everything is a fusion. It's it's amazing. It's not just a, what if this character, it's a fusion of the two. Kind of like uh, Ghost, uh, Ghost Racer, sorry, Speed Demon. Um, yeah, no, this uh, great stuff. Uh, I, I know the background's a little odd, but that's just so I could uh, list them properly. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoyed making it. This is fun.